Hey guys, it's me, Joe, one further the Cyber Nerds. I'm back. And I've got two things to tell you about real quick. One of them is, if you really enjoy our content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the cyber nerds and sign up for one of our tiers. You can win loads of rewards and it really helps support the team. And the second thing is, enjoy this video. We are live. Raven, the We are live. Hey guys, I'm Joe, one further the cyber nerds. And I'm Raven, the GS. I'm Sam, Mr. Blitz. And this week... We have an E3 special. What else did you think this was? On the <laughs> all of our questions are all about EA. Um, all about EA. All about E3. All about E3. You know that negativity uh, that EA has just put into my mind? It's bad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all our questions about E3 and all of our questions are brought to you by our Patreons. So shout out to the Patreons. Right. Uh, right. Patreon.com. Right. 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 But yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to it. Man. Look, look, look. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Before, before we jump into the, you know, the questions and the answers, if we can get there with our disclaimers and and all, all kind of stuff that happens in, in the sofa. I just want to say that I'm really proud of myself, in it? Like, man, just oh, don't move into the games. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm, I'm being converted in it, and so far it's going pretty successful in it. I just want to put it out there as the person, you know, that doesn't really play games like you, man. What did you just say? You want credit for what? For watching it E3? Yeah. No. <laughs> No, bro. No, be a hater, I'm not be a being a hater. hater. But man's not getting credit but for watching bro, something you're supposed I'm not, to watch. I'm not asking you for. I'm so not who's asking credit for them? No, for me, I'm, I'm patting myself in the back, man. Right, can, right, can, can, do, I, can I can do that when we're not recording? Nah, it's alright. Nah, man. So, so, Sam, what's the question? Like? See, see what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't just let me live. You know, no respect, oh. fam. Man, got no respect, fam. No respect. It's alright, man. And with due respect, here comes the questions for my patrons. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, first question is, what games didn't you really catch your attention at E3? TCSM. <sighs> well, who's starting? I'm know. throwing it out there. Like, yeah. I'll go first. I don't mind, didn't yeah. Alright, now, I feel like this for me is very interesting mm -hmm. because this game has all the elements that I love. And I think I might even love the game when it comes out. But from what I saw at E3... It did not catch my attention at all. And that is Death Stranding, yeah? So, this is... I don't want to say his name. Kojima's new game, yeah? After Metal Gear Solid. Now, this is like... Space exploration. Sci-fi elements. Aliens. Fourth dimensions. And stuff like that. All of that stuff is in this game. But... What they showed us at E3... Was so boring... I just... Like, I don't know like what to think... Do you know what I'm saying? It's like it's some. It's like it's like you know those high concept movies mm -hmm. where you're like, I'm gonna show everyone I'm so much smarter than everyone else that you fail to. Yeah, and I feel like that's what this trailer done. Like there was mad walking in it. Then we saw stuff we'd already seen. We saw some handprints on the floor. We saw a baby inside a full grown person's mouth. Yeah, like that was weird. Like do you that know what I'm saying? So it's, weird. it's like was... like I know Kojima's brilliant. Yeah. But fam, just come on, it's E3. Just give us give us something we can really... I just don't uh, know. I was disappointed. You, you know what? Like, you you saying that, um, and obviously going through um, the previous uh, E3s, one thing that was, was spoken about quite um, frequent was that some of the companies that come in fail to, to, to bring the excitement to the players. And even not just the companies, but um, E3 as well. Like, the entertainment, the odds you know, entertainer here and there, the odd joke and stuff like that. So I think as a newcomer that this is something that needs to be polished across everything for E3 because you know, that's that's the job of E3. Fine. Bring this in and, and Can you just answer the question at hand for like where are you going right now? That if like stuff like that fails to insane, like you're just being too much plugged in that you just fail to, to entertain my nigga to to just plug into the game. I hear That's, you, I hear you, yeah. I hear you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so Death Stranding, yeah. Did you have something to say about Death Stranding? No, I was just I was just agreeing with what you're saying. I don't know anything to say about that game, bro. That's, that game is I it was weird. That's what I said. It, it makes me it, it makes me sick, yeah, because Death Strand bro, it looks like Interstellar mixed with Alien Covenant mixed with uh more Interstellar fam, like uh 
there's another space alien movie I can't remember but alien. about not alien <laughs> not alien. the Martian or not yeah I the think Martian. we said that yeah, I think we said the, that the Martian, Martian as well lonely, lonely, because very lonely yeah. like you're on, your, you're on your own just roaming like I love these are some of my favourite movies fam and I feel like it's got all those elements but like just the way it was presented yawn fest fam like unfortunately so like at the beginning man's just travelling for bare long you can see him get box after box after box but it was the end that kind of captured me. So there was that invisible monster that came out of nowhere. I was like, what's going on there? And eventually he uses the baby to intercept the, what the shadows were. I was like, you're keeping me on my toes. Like, I'm still teased, but I don't know what's going on. That's what Kojima kind of does. Like, throughout the Metal Gear series, it's super weird, but you're super intrigued at the same time. Nah, it's different. Because you get, you get way more from the Metal Gear. Like, bro, we can put on Metal Gear trailers, yeah? And they're weird... But you have an understanding of kind of what's happening. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And that is also I'm gonna that doesn't even count because that is still based in some sort of world like real reality. Metal Gear, obviously, it's spy espionage stuff. This is just we're in space. My man's walking. There's an invisible monster and there's a baby in his mouth. Allow yeah. it. Just uh, I just it's just true. allow just it allow it. it. So, so I'm excited. For, I'm not excited for the game, but I. It is a game I'm interested in, mm. but I need to see way more than what they yeah, show. Yeah, definitely more trailers for that. Oh, very good. What was your My least one, excited one? Least excited, and I do not understand, and maybe I need to watch you play it, but Fallout, fam. Like, what is just, like, exploration? And you just... can't watch it, you, you would fall asleep. Like, it's not for someone to watch, it's for someone to indulge in. That's like watching an RPG. Like, I can't watch some play Final Fantasy 15. No matter how exciting the battles are, uh-huh. you have to be in the battles to be excited. Like, knowing your HP is down to one and you're in the middle of a battle and could die, that's all a new kind of thing. Uh-huh. When I was watching that, I'm like, yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, but I, I just, I just, I just find it really hard to understand the concept. And like I said, maybe like you're saying, I need to play in it. Mm. But again, like this is, it's a showcase and. I just see one guy just walk in, like, clearly there's been, you know, some sort of destruction, whatever that happens, and then just like, and I just, I just it's just, I, I'm really, really baffled, like, no, to agree. even trying to explain, I find it hard, like, that's how hard I find it to understand the concept of the game. Like, okay, I understand there was a um, an event that happened on Earth, nuclear bomb went off, but then like, what is the purpose of of this journey. That's the thing though, like, that trailer was nothing but fan service, isn't it? Like, if you don't know the Fallout series, that trailer meant nothing to you. And, and, and again, like, you're all, and then this is what I was trying to say about the other one, is like, if, um, if you're coming in, you want to be captured, don't just, I, I, like, obviously I don't know the numbers of the game, doesn't it? Maybe you do, your numbers are so nice that you don't need to worry about newcomers, <laughs> to please newcomers, mm-hmm. but, I just, I'm just like, it's confusing for me. Like, and like I said, maybe it's just for the, the fans, isn't it? And, that, and that's cool. But like, what if you're, you what exactly? What about that? Obviously, I mean, if you're comfortable with the numbers and you don't want to get more numbers, then that's cool, isn't it? That's <laughs> that's your prerogative. But me personally, I just, I just don't understand it. So they get numbers, but like I said, like you'd always want a new fan base. You'd always want of to course, capture of new people. So can't, can't stay comfortable. Someone else will come and do something bad, and that's it. Your your franchise is done, isn't it? Bro, I've, I've never understood Fallout, and get me like even when we asked Sam to explain it the other day, like in the trailer reaction, I'm like, bro, what? Nah, bro, don't do that. Didn't go over man's head. Man's reflexes are too fast. I had to catch it. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just that, bro. Like, what is this? Okay, nuclear. Whatever, Fallout. Holocaust, Fallout, whatever, yeah. But, like, what is the aim? Like, and you've still not explained this, bro, so don't say it's going over man's head. What is the aim of Fallout? I told you, it depends on the story. For so, one, you're a carrier, like, you get, you're, you're carrying a package, you don't know what's inside or whatever, then okay. you get robbed, they try to shoot you for it. When did this happen? This is a uh, Fallout New Vegas. Now, man's talking about this Fallout, not this Fallout. Fallout. This Fallout, like, I did my research, this one is about. Uh, online, I didn't research the story, but this is an online massive multiplayer one, isn't it? And the other one's worse than... No, the other this one's is the very first of its time. Oh, okay, okay. So, I, I, I don't know the story of this one. 
No, but, but don't mind. Okay, so just, just. That's not, I'm not talking about that, bro. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the aim of the game. Mm. Like in Batman, mm-hmm. the aim is to beat the villain. Do you know what I'm saying? What is the aim of Fallout? Is that every other massive multiplayer game like to grow, to be stronger? So your character levels up. Yeah. So like to, for what towards what purpose? Like in this one, it seems like to get a massive settlement. Like you're meant to re. Build the world that was destroyed. Okay. So, so are we talking about Sims, that sort of like Sims, but in 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 the in the, yeah, in the sort of constructive way. Mm, mm. Okay. Guys, listen, please please jump in the comment section below, yeah, because man just explained Fallout as the Sims in a nuclear devastated Earth, in it. You just jump in the comment sections because I this it don't sound right to me, but maybe it is in it. So you guys let us know anyway. So. You sit on the knees, your help. That's all I got to say. Um, what was my most disappointing trailer? I want to go with Halo because it showed us worlds, it showed us a desert, it showed us Greenland, it showed us. New textures and this that the other four Kness. That's what the most powerful console in this world can do. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the show does nothing. For a new game called Halo, Hot Halo, or Halo Infinite. What's so infinite about this one? Well, from 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 what I gathered from one of the comments in 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 the video is that they're taking a new approach to to the, the game. game. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that, that's pretty much what I got. Was in your approach, though? Like, uh, different way of playing it, I think. See, the reason you, that... You ever played a first-person shooter? See, the reason I'm against you saying that this is your biggest disappointment is because it's like, you're not really... Uh, I, I, guess, oh, I guess the same is not for Fallout, isn't it? Man's not really invested in the franchise. Like, you don't know much, how much you know about it. A little bit. I've played one and two and three. And I've seen reviews now four. All right, cool. And you just think that, like, what they show is just nothing. So you just don't. So you don't think there was Halo fans somewhere going ham? You there probably was. Um, but I, as I mean, like, I'm the guy sitting on the fence. Like, if you wanted me to buy a new Halo, game, you're not sitting on the fence because you ain't even got an Xbox. How can you be sitting on the fence? You're gonna buy a whole console for this one game. You're gonna have to wait till nobody to get that answer. All right. This will wait. So I I just got a feel that this is an agent in it because man's supposed to be Team PS. But it doesn't uh, matter what. From like, what I just got from him is is an agent. That, but I love I'm games. Saying, like, all I love like, games. I, I, I've it's got, too I'm too involved in that. That's what I just got from him. That I thought we were all like one team in it. But I've known him for twenty something years. Never heard he played Never Xbox. heard nothing about no Xbox Halo. But, but all of a sudden, but cool. all of a sudden, man's played one, two, three, M four in it. Like so I, I played for a Oh, oh three. Years. Okay, man's sorry. Like, I, like, I didn't like, know there's number five. That's how bad it was. Man's out here living a double life, but it's calm, isn't it, man? Double life. Well, yeah, so like, can you guys explain to me then what you got from that trailer? Like? I didn't get nothing from a Halo trailer, but I don't care about Halo, mm. so I don't expect to get anything from mm-hmm. it. So, so if you did saying, care, huh? If you did care, I'd probably there'd probably be things in there that I was excited about because I'm sure in that trailer there was things that I've never been in Halo games before. Like I told you, like, like a rhinoceros, yeah, like a rhinoceros fan. And to, to us, that might seem not important, but I'm sure in their world, in their universe, that might be a big thing. Maybe they're on a new planet. Do you know what I'm saying? All that spire stuff at the top, we don't know what any mm. of that stuff is. Yeah. Someone did mention that that um, you're on the Halo planet. Mm. That's where everything begun. Yeah. So it's, obviously, if that's where everything begun, imagine you can transform to to infinite number of planets or something like that. Right. And he says infinite. So the what thing is, there was so, to me there was so many more disappointing trailers than something like that. What is like I felt like that trailer was just teasing stuff. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that's enough in it. But like. When you've got full on trailers like the Death Stranding one, I'll go back to that. What's like four minutes long, bro? And shows you nothing, fam. Like, that's, that's, to me, that's disappointing. You get me? When well, you're supposed to get me gassed. And that Halo game's not coming out for like five years anyway. Yeah, so they showed up a new engine. What do you do? Yeah, because they, they, they transitioned from, from the, the previous engine. Because mm-hmm. apparently, the other ones didn't do so well, the last few ones. Mm-hmm. And then now they're just completely changing everything, even the way you play the game. That in in its sense itself, it's it's big news. It is big news, man. Because I think it's what uh, uh, third person shooter. Okay, it's, it's a third. It was a third first person. person. Third. First person, mm. third or first? It's first person. Okay. But now they they're changing it into third. Third, I think. Yeah. So sort of like um, 
What's the game you just played with the Battlefront? No, Battlefront. The, one the with Division, the, that kind of. No, the one with the the dinosaurs, metal dinosaurs. Horizon. 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 So sort of like that. Okay. That would make sense. You know what I'm saying? And and to be honest, their engine looks peak, innit? Yeah, like, like good. you know, thinking of um, the the their, their games they have, mm. bro. If you're moving into that platform, that is big news. I don't say, and I think that's why they they were showing that, like the world and everything else. But the games will always look good, though. I don't want to tell man man's wrong in it, but man's wrong in it. That's my opinion. I'm wrong. Disclaimer: the Cybernos do not <laughs> do not approve. Like the, 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 my opinion is wrong. I'm doing it. I'm just putting a disclaimer on myself. Oh, okay. okay, okay I'm putting a disclaimer okay, on myself. Okay, cool. The disclaimer is yeah that. In everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and the cybernets promote f- the free speech. Yeah, <laughs> this, this, this is this is like what's going on? Like, like, know, like people giving themselves disclaimers. <laughs> some next man living a double life. <laughs> like, what is going on? Like, like, so is this what Eve is bad? Yeah, it's him fam. I don't know what's bad, going on. Bad, 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 bad. Man might have an Xbox at his yard fam. Whoa, no fam. Whoa, no, no, fam. Hey, that's hey, a big Halo hey, one, two, three, you know. Man's out here cheating. Okay, wait, can I just ask? So, what, how many hours have you put into Halo games, like, like, like over the whole three of them? Not 100. No, not 100. All right, cool, sir. So over three games, you ain't put 100 hours in, and, and you're, giving, you're giving us your, exp- your expert expertise on it. Story's like 10 hours each, 5 to 10 hours, how you depend on your player. And so, you, so, you've done all of them games? One, two, and three, yeah. You played all of the story modes, you completed all story modes, all three games? Well, yeah, when they came out. All right, cool. I, bro, I've never sure. you. I've never heard this sentence. Get yeah, me so. Wait, all right, fine. Let's let's move on. Like, shwap, shwap, shwap. Next question. Yeah. The best trailer to come out of Sony's showcase. You want to start with this one? All right. Well, for me, this is a super easy one. It's one that I think a lot of Sony fans are waiting for, and that's The Last of Us Two. Like, they started with that, and it started strong because. First, they showed the whole uh, dance hall. Um, they were in like dancing and stuff. It showed the what do you call it? How good they got actors <laughs> graphically on screen. And after that, also they were saying like a bit of the story, and it delved into the gameplay, and it just shows how they've transcended from one to two. And they show they still haven't showed us like why the world is like that. They only showed us how people interact, but mm-hmm. they never showed us the actual monsters. How you're like deep into some like jungleness and whatever. So for me, for me, the best trailer that came out of Sony's showcase was The Last of Us Two. I gotta agree with you on that. That's also my one. And the first thing I got from that, obviously, the the visuals was great, mm-hmm. but just how intense the game was. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, as a Tomb Raider fan, like the whole the way it was moving, like that was the first thing. I was like, oh. I get to play this type of game, but on another level, like yeah. things you could do, like squeeze through small gaps, yeah, see, like, stuff like, that. like fam, like just watching this trailer, yeah, like so. There's one bit where I think she's in the shop or something, mm. and you're surrounded, and there's like two people like in front of her, but they got their backs towards her. But there's someone going around the corner, and I'm thinking you're getting clocked, you're getting clocked. But the stealth is just so amazing, so seamlessly, like it's like. You can do that. Then you go through tall grass, and you're just there. Like that, that suspense in this game. I, I want to be. The thing, another thing is, I didn't get any zombies in it, right? So anything like. That. But <laughs> I'm, I might have to put myself in this situation and just play it. play this game. But like, I don't know. Bro. I don't know. I don't know because you have to play it, man. Because you, you know, I, I, fam, it's just. Man just gets sucked in to the suspense here so much it's that well. it will get to me. It will. It will get to me, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, so imagine, I don't know, like, my, my, my attention is on these three characters. I'm just trying to divert, like, you know what I'm saying? But all of a sudden, I don't know, something just comes out of nowhere, like, fam, that will get to me, innit? Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's That's sweet. a lot. That's it's a lot. Uh, this is easily three out of three. The Last of Us is handed down the best trailer at the Sony uh, press conference or whatever. Everything you guys are saying is true. Like, Naughty Dog just up the levels differently. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, just just, just new levels, innit? And like you were saying, I think one of the best parts about this trailer is they don't show no zombies. 
They're also or freakers or whatever you call them in a the game. And the thing is, it's like what are they called? Sorry, freakers or something. Freakers? Like that. Is it clickers? Oh, oh clickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clickers, you know, because they click, they make this. Oh. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you, you hear, you hear it. Hear them, oh. but you can't see them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. So like, you're definitely like if you're going to play The Last of Us two, you have to pick up the remastered Last of Us. The Last of Us, Ooh, the first one on yeah, PS4, yeah, yeah. fam. Fam, stop, stop trying to plug in games. Ooh, in, like, you said you were going to play. Listen, yeah, 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 listen, listen. You listen, can't listen, understand listen, how deep listen, number listen, two is listen, without playing number one, listen, fam. Yeah. Fam, fam, fam. Listen, I get it. Like, I'm the newcomer. Like, man's going to push my way around here, you get me? But, nevertheless, like, come on, you man. You man are killing me. Every time <laughs> I say something about, yeah, fam, you need to pick up this, you need to pick up that. Oh, yeah, go back 10 years and pick up that before you get to it. I'm like, <laughs> the only reason I'm telling you to get because it, it's on PS4 like games that are on PS4 mm. that I think you should play I'll tell you to play I won't tell you to play games that are back on the last generation because one you ain't got it mm. and two like the games that are on PS4 like you're not going to have an issue with mechanics uh, Visual. visuals and all the other stuff do you know what I'm mm. saying so and Last of Us got voted the best game on PS4 for the year the yeah. remastered one came out yeah. do you know what I'm saying so you have to yeah. jump into that damn, yeah man Last Sheesh. of Us Murdered, murdered, man. I feel like we can move on. Like, go check the trailer. Oh, there's not one. Sorry, there's not one. Not one. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay because I mean, do you, do you work, guys working? I can get from like cheap and stuff like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Sure. My budget. I had the budget for the year, and it's, it's peak right now. I'm trying to break yeah, the budget. Yeah. For, like, if we get more patrons, the Sabers can sponsor that. Isn't it? Patreon.com forward slash the I need that. I, I need love that. you I guys. Love you guys. I need love you guys. <laughs> So, uh, um, got another question. Rank your top three most anticipated games of E3. Guess we'll start with you this time, Raven. Okay, so Kingdom Hearts. It's an old brain. Like, <coughs> what they showed me is an in it. Like, Kingdom Hearts. The Division 2. I'm really looking forward to The Division 2. Only because there's two reasons for that, yeah? Last time, last time, last time. I got to see you two man play with other men online and I was just on the outside watching in it. Like and this was really at the beginning of the cybernets. Am I yeah, correct? Right at the beginning. Bro. Right. So we um, weren't even we weren't live streaming then or nothing. At the time my PS3 was dead, so I didn't have a console. Um so yeah, I was just on the outside watching People calling Rogue Nation, Rogue Nation, Rogue oh, Nation, and, like, out on and, and I didn't, and I didn't understand what, what it was, <laughs> innit? it? Fam, you already, you already been saying on the videos, innit? it? So, no. And then another thing is when I finally got to pick it up after two, three, four trophies popped up. This selfish guy over here, a week later, decides to sell his game, innit, it, man? I just think that's a, a really selfish thing from your team, innit? it? So. And, and, and the game looks sick, innit? Like, watching the trade of you guys was really enjoyable. Obviously, just getting the energy from you two, talking about the new things you can do, and the way, obviously, you explain, oh, I'm the medic guy, I'm, I'm Rambo, Raven, you're at the back, because otherwise you're just going to kill everyone or get us killed. Um, like, obviously, team thing is one of the things I love about uh, multiplayer online, innit? Like, I really enjoy it. Always fun, especially when we're bringing you guys. All right, it's always a madness in it. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the one, the last one that caught my attention, I did not see this coming, and I will be unfortunately breaking my budget. Mm, I know what you're about to say. Just to get a console, a mobile console, is Pokemon fan. Hmm. Like all these years we've been talking about this yo they need to make a pokemon like this they need to, a pokemon like moving from the platform where everything is you know it's it's more than i guess we could say that and we finally had it yeah fun. so is that, that was your three right that's my King, three. kingdom hearts division two and pokemon gold yeah let me just jump straight on this pokemon thing because i think there's only been one time before that I've been wanting to that I've wanted to buy a console for a game, and this is that time. This is the second time it's happened to me. Um, so the, first the first time I bought a PS3 to play Batman. Oh, uh, so then I smashed it. Maybe I can't remember. <laughs> it. But yeah, so this Pokemon game, 
like, bro, obviously we've been talking about this game for like 15 years. Or in, in fact, since Pokemon, I think since Pokemon came out and then like PS1 came out, mm-hmm. we've been talking about this game. Like, open world Pokemon game where I can walk around and the person next to me can just join in my game and we can all move around as a team or a gang and do whatever. Tag team battles, like, the, the battles in the game are set up like Pokemon Stadium was, but mm-hmm. even better, there's more interaction there. The gym leader battles, I was watching gameplay footage of this today. It is mad, bro. You go to the gym, and the thing is, they've taken the essence of the Game Boy game, yeah, mm-hmm. and they've just put it into the world, and it's sick. So, when you go into Tall Grass now, you know when the game used to just bump into Pokemon, like, and the screen just started flashing? You see the Pokemon in the world grass now. Do you know what I'm saying? And you can try and avoid them, but they move as well. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's like... It's like NPC. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's just... They, they're getting it so close to like how it's supposed to be. Then you go into the gym battles. You remember the gym battles, yeah? There always used to be like six trainers yeah. in there. You've got to try and get past them, innit? Exactly the same, fam. And then you've got Pokemon following you, stuff like that. And then obviously you can even start with um, Eevee or Pikachu. And my only issue with this game is, is that, from what I've seen... I don't like that they're forcing us to either start with 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 Eevee or Pikachu. It was a traditional trio. No, like they, Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. Yeah, but I don't. I don't even want that. I think that because of where we're at right now, they should have just opened it up well, and been like every single game they've ever. No, started. no, no. Because this game's set in Kanto, so I think it's the oh, only one hundred, the only uh, original one hundred and fifty-one. But I felt like they should have let you pick any Pokemon you wanted. Mm. But not obviously legendary mm. and like magic card. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Legendary and certain other Pokemon that would make you OP in the beginning. But I think like they should have opened up. Like if you want to start with a uh, with Gollum or a Sandshrew or something. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like Dratini. Yeah, not Dratini. Mm. Is what is what I was saying in it. Oh, oh, because it's legendary. Because no, because it goes into it. It goes into it. Maybe in fact, you know what? Yeah, it's yeah, think- not as legendary. Isn't it? It's not legendary, but it's a it's an OP Pokemon. But I guess those Charizard, well, didn't it? Yeah. But maybe that's why they maybe that's why they took them out. But I felt like they should have opened it up to being able to choose your start your original starting Pokemon first. Do you know if they explained why they did that? Uh, no. Oh, I I didn't hear from what I saw why they did it in it. But obviously, Pikachu's Pikachu. Pikachu. Yeah, that's normal. But I think Eve, I think the like, reason they gave random. him Eevee's because Eevee's at the Go point. Three. Eevee's at the point where it does. If Eevee, goes more, Eevee, Eevee goes into like eight now. Eight or, it? Yeah, yeah, it goes into grass, ah, fire, all of them, dark, all of them. psychic. Really? Yeah. Eevee, Eevee, has, Eevee has every transformation. That's probably why they did it. Mm. But I, I, that's, I, that's I that's still don't. Better. I still still force. I still don't like it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like man, like me, bro. I need that Charmander. I need that Bulbasaur. But yeah, in fact, that was that was my first game. My second game. The Division 2. Division 2 because it looks like Division 1, which man had 100, 150 hours of mad fun with, but it looks better. Do you know what I'm saying? New drones, new uh, new combat, new scenery. Just There's going to be bad, mad new game mechanics. And it's like you said, game you can play with everyone. I want to go into it too deep, but Division 2. And my third one is Spider-Man PS4. Now, this game is being described as Arkham Knight. But Spider Man. Sleep it. Sleep it. <laughs> but like, you see, but you see, like I didn't, I didn't pick Spider Man because we've already. It's like some. It's it's like almost. It's ours already. Didn't like. See, my one's already pre ordered. That's why I didn't. And this is, and this, you know and this is what I don't. This is what I don't like about E three. Yeah, mm. people should be praising. Spider Man way more because it comes out next week, fam. Mm-hmm. Or it come, I, I say yeah. it next week, but it comes out in three months. Do you know what I'm saying? We should be praising that more instead of praising games like The Last of Us that don't have a title date, fam. That man does not. I like man has no clue when that game's coming out. Fam. You know, yeah, now on PS5, fam. Fam, yeah, exactly, and that, that's what I think as well. It's going to be like 2020 or something like that, fam. It'll probably be the same as The Last of Us One, the last game on this generation, and it'll be on the next generation. Yeah, of course, but, but Spider Man comes out in two months, fam, and this game. Looks mad, and I'm mad you've already pre-ordered yours. I'm gonna go pre-order mine. You get me? Nah, I need all those nah, extra nah, skins nah, still. Nah, nah. Get me? Yeah, because that's that's the reason why I pre-ordered. Because you get uh, the uh, Spider Punk. Punk. You get yeah. the you get Spider Punk. You get Iron Spider Punk. as well. And if there's another one they haven't revealed yet, but so you got Spider Man, you think? Superior. Su- um, symbiote. The black suit. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. There's, there's so many though, isn't it? Like Spider Verse is coming out almost the same time, the same year. Bro, this like... game is gonna have. 
Mad skin. Bruv, all I need is that old school custom Ben Riley Scarlet Spider suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blue hoodie. Deep yeah. cuts, yeah. deep cuts. You man ain't ready, man. Get me. That's, that's the only question I need, so. <laughs> so, uh, my first one, I'm gonna mention uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, here we go. Because the studio recreated The Witcher. Do you play The Witcher? Yeah, I played uh, two. I played on two. I played on PC. But you haven't played the newest one? No. I heard out how big it is and I don't have the time for that right now. And that's why I think that I don't know how they are still sorry, 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 question, please. But I ain't got time to play games, but you're the game uh huh. I'm not involved in this I'm not involved. It's life, it's called life. Man's supposed to be a cyber net, isn't it? Yeah. Man's not supposed to have a life, but it's life. It's mad, isn't it? It is mad, it is mad, it is mad, it's mad, it's mad, it's mad, it's mad. But please, by all means, do. Thank you very much. So the guys who brought us the Witcher series, like I said, this has got a trilogy which has been well praised, no matter when they bring it out. It's also getting a new TV show, and obviously now that they're bringing us a futuristic world, because the Witcher was obviously set back in, like, night kind of realmish times. Mm-hmm. This one's also futuristic. And everything about it just seems to tick the boxes. If you're, like, a Witcher fan, you know that these guys are going to deliver no matter what is on the table. So it's going to give a brilliant story, brilliant combat, great mechanics, excellent, like, the world is, uh, itself, from the trailer, just shows how the, uh, how mad the world's going to be. And from the trailer, you can kind of tell that it's going to be mad stuff, and it's going to be hacking, going to be, like, stuff happening on the street, like, you got to intervene, that kind of stuff. You've got, um... I think it was even like fighting with some kind of weird android or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So it's, just, it's basically going to be like GTA from a, like a different studio. So you know what, like this this game caught me off guard as well, wasn't it? Because he had he had elements from the past but futuristic. Like mm. like first thing I picked up, Man's Cop, like Night Rider. Rider, like 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 it's just it's mad how this character is like he the way he moves is like. I'm still futuristic, but the way I roll, like it's old kind of school. like it's old school, it's mm. classic still, isn't it? Mm. I love that how they were able to put those elements in this game. Next, like it's tech in it, like man loves technology stuff. Mm. We just watched um All Carbon. Oh, oh, I'm not even trying to get. Oh, let sorry, me let sorry, me get sorry. there. I let me get there. <laughs> no, I was, I am, I was. Um, no, the movie that we watched in cinema. Um, Blade Runner. Um, oh, Ready Player One. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We got we got to see some hacking, which was nuts, and obviously all carbon in it. Like, I loved I loved uh, watching it. So this game, <sighs> bro, just doing the editing on our reaction, I was like, this I'm I'm gonna have to pick up this game in it. Like it's just it's 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 mad it's mad like, but it's definitely one of the games that I did not see it coming in. It, so. Let me dive on a slip of that. So for all those same reasons, I'm really excited about this game. Yeah, but. I don't know because obviously I heard that it's first person, isn't it? Oh and really? I, yeah, I heard that it's first person, and then that kind of threw me back a bit. And I, because I'm, it sounds like art. It sounds like Grand Theft Auto, like you're saying, but in the Blade Runner, Altered Carbon universe. What to me, yes, I'm in for that. But like, I'm, I'm worried. Like, I don't understand why it would be in a first person game. Because I even think when they put Grand Theft Auto into first person, I think it's weird mm. as well. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So hopefully, it's one of those things where there's, it's an option to play third person because because I love the, the look of this world so much I would like to see it in third person where I can see my character as well mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying as opposed to being looking through the eyes of that character that's my only thing that I'm worried about and the next thing is no release date innit I'm not getting gas for no games that don't have release dates I'm icy for that no release date no excitement again for that game I think that's a PS5 I mm-hmm. think mm-hmm. I'm only surprised to be honest but like, the, he, he, here's the thing, yeah, like, and I might be wrong as a newcomer into the E3 in it, like, but it seems to me that strategically wise, like, obviously it's very hard to put out games like that, and mm-hmm. like, obviously it takes time to develop. Um, for more, for my understanding, um, you know, they make games these days where you can, while the game's still out, you can make changes and you update. So obviously the whole game system has changed from where I was plugged in, in it, like deep plugged in back in the day. So it's just it takes a long time, especially for games to 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 run, to have a, a long a longevity in it. So and the way this game looks, there's no way 
they're giving us on PS4. Like, the, the, every game that looks nuts, to me, you're not PS4 material. You're going to PS5. Oh, hold on. Um, you finished? The, the TVs that are coming out, 4K, mm. Mm. you definitely you know, you, you know you've got to play those games in, in, in like, visually sound, bro. It's perfect, isn't it? So, to me, that's not coming out on PS4. Okay? You know what's mad about all this PS5 tool, they've been away this and the other. You guys have seen God of War, right? Yeah. Don't you think that could have been a next gen game? Like, when it came out, when we were seeing it, doesn't that look PS5 ish? Yeah, no, bro. I, I hear what you're saying, innit? But my thing, whether it's on PS5 or not, I think what studios need to be doing is when you go to E3, talk about games that are coming out this year, talk about games that are coming out next year. And just don't go further than that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I would do. Like, I feel like, like this, how could you go wrong talking about all the games you've got coming out this year and next year? But we're going to talk about games that are coming out four years from now, fam. Like, allow it, fam. Like, why? So you'd be screwed up otherwise. Why would you be screwed up? Their main three had no dates. Spider-Man's coming out this year. Yeah, that was the fourth one. Bro, the thing is, uh, I, I believe that one of them games is going to come out next yeah, year. Yeah, I believe that as well. That's what I'm, that, but that's what I'm saying. I, the two of them. Mm. What? Death Stranded. Because Last of Us 2 is not coming out next year. No, that's... that's just, um, <laughs> and you think Death Stranded, Death Stranded is not coming yeah, out next year? Yeah, I think so. That's been in development for quite a while. It takes him 10 years. It takes Kojima 10 years to make games, bro. 10, 10 years, years bro. that's a decade. And, that's, and bro, you know that's, that's the joke. Bro. Of, of it takes people. him 10 years to make games. Bro. I think that's because of the Because of Konami. Yeah, Konami coming out, man. It's Kojima, fam. Look at this game, fam. Yeah, he's, a bro, he's, no, he's, no he's, a, he's a genius. Bro. Bro. He's a genius. He, he does this on the wrist. I, I wouldn't be talking about games that are more than two years away, fam. I wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that, but I think, I, I think that's just the, the nature of the game. I think that's the nature of the game. That's the way you have to play it. Um, again, like, and and this is just to going back to what I saw because obviously I saw um, like some sort of like it was a short documentary on on E three in the past few years how they started. You know the numbers when they invite the only a certain number of people mm. in, and it's just like and they have they really struggle like putting E3 and obviously it's not just one day mm-hmm. it goes across a that's whole it. week so mm-hmm. you have to keep us engaged mm-hmm. you know? you've got to bring people in you know what I'm saying and and to be honest I think that's that's the right way to do it like get us get stuff and you just have to keep looking for it yeah. I agree alright cool well guys whoa hey we're in one game <laughs> can I can I remember how to I was going to say something about Patreon isn't it but I love this, you know. <laughs> I love when it happens. It doesn't happen to me. I don't know what, I don't know what you thought was gonna gonna happen. I couldn't just say something about it. All right, my second game. Everyone knows I love anime. Yep. Everyone knows when I saw this trailer. Uh huh. They jumped up my skin. Uh huh. Jump force. Jesus, oh my days, man. Like, I like Dragon Ball Fighters, and I thought, after they don't graphics like this, this is how anime games should always look. But, of the Jump Force, and the destructibility that they're showing in that game, I saw some gameplay now, I still have more some gameplay. You need to use more some gameplay. It's mad, man. It's Like, I'm, I'm hyped for the game. The only thing I don't like is Arena Fighters, like, it's still half and half. Because I'm playing Xenoverse, it's like it's still hit, unless, unless you get the mechanics super right, for me it's still hit and miss. But that game does look live. Wow. And yeah. it's mega fan service to the guys who love anime as well. Uh, you, you know, it's crazy that there is a, a previous game mm. where they have all these characters, they merge all these characters in that I've never heard about. Mm. The name is... J-Star... It's crazy. So if I was to see that name, that would tell me nothing. That could be anything in life, really. Right? So, um, a shout out to you guys for letting us know on the comment section below. But, the way, and this is the way you pepper up E3 in it, like, your events, like, there's a game out there that a lot of people play, but there's also a lot of people out there that also don't know the game in it. Mm-hmm. And you just bring it up. And I think it's just the way they showed it. Like, the thumbnail was Goku, but then three seconds later is 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 Naruto and then you're like, What? Wait, what? Like what's going on here? And that just caught me off guard in it. So 
It's, it's amazing to me they, they've done this. Or that at least he was out there and I didn't know. Mm. You, you got to say that like Three trunks. <laughs> Three Vegeta. <laughs> well, on, on, on the other one, Vegeta was in the game. It was Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. Three, three trunks then I'm sticking with this three trunks wow. cool. but yeah looks, well, you saw the trailer reaction like, you was, saw the thumbnail yeah it was mad it was mad it was, it was too mad. much it was too much and the other game which has been over a decade they skipped a console generation who's that Kingdom Hearts 3 oh my days bro. like just when I thought they, they showed enough they showed two trailers in E3 they showed us, what do you call it, um, Frozen. Mm-hmm. It looks like the, like the animation. I was, like, I was just blown away. That was crazy. And then they showed us Car- parts of the Caribbean, which looks like it can be, again, its own movie. Like, the stuff they, they got going, I, I didn't understand. Like, I, I thought, this looks better than the movie. Hell yeah, bro. That's what's like, so mad. And then the stuff that now that they're showing us in that trailer, I was like, you know what? Let's bring the, the game out already. The thing, that's like, funny to, sorry, the thing that's funny to me is that if I was a Kingdom Hearts fan, yeah, mm. I'd be angry, fam. Why? Fam, I've been waiting for a game for 14 years, fam. Bro. You think I'm not angry? <laughs> you, they, they brought one and two. You bring 14, up all the side pieces. 14 years. And then two. This is why you shouldn't be talking about games that aren't coming out in the next two years, bro. But, Do you know what I'm saying? It's mad, fam. you fam. get it. But when imagine, imagine, yeah, but listen to, imagine if you had 14 years of nothing, the silence, and then you just seen Sora's Keyblade. You, like, you lost your, you lost your stuff now. Mm-hmm. 14 years, of, it'd be like when Star Wars came back, yeah. fam. You'd lose your whole damn mind. <laughs> bro. that's why you, bro. listen, they don't know what, like, they just, like, you, you, know, you know what, yeah, you know what, you know what, the, the, the only, the only thing that, that kept, that we can talk about being disappointed, and this is, and this is the, again, going back to the whole Star Wars fandom being crazy, but fans were putting out there like some people were creating fake mm. uh, posters mm. every year, bro. I can't remember one year there wasn't a poster Kingdom Hearts coming out, Kingdom Hearts coming out, Kingdom Hearts coming out. Like every year, and and that's and that is that kind of spoiled what we have right now a little bit in it because, like you're saying, if no one said anything, mm. then then I don't know what would have happened. Like. I, our mind's probably would have literally blown on camera and, and, and that's the thing I think it's cool with the fan art stuff because you know that's coming from fans but I feel like they, they were disrespectful for, I'm not a Kingdom Hearts fan in it anymore but like it's disrespectful because they put out 2.8 what like a year ago or two mm-hmm. years ago yeah and that the bruv, that wasn't even a full game, was it? No, nah. tech demo. Nah. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a tech demo for sixty pound at like the price of a full game, and then two years later they come out with this, bruv. I feel like they're just taking advantage of the fans. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's and that, bruv. I, I, I hate to say it because I know you might love the game, but bruv, it's disrespectful to your no, fans. Bruv. I, I completely agree with you, but don't you think they did that because fans want it so bad? Mm. They just capitalized. You can't. On don't that. do it sixty pound, then, isn't it? Because they're not capital. Because they're because they're taking advantage. There's a difference between. Of course, if you're being an idiot, I'm gonna take advantage. Listen, it's 2018, <laughs> fam. Oh, it's 2018. Oh, I'm gonna take a take advantage of this market. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you had to wait f- 14 years, you gotta put some money in your pocket, bro. Um, I'm just saying. I I've got a question for you though. How come you fell off Kingdom Hearts? Uh, it's the it's the game it's the game like it's just the fighting style. I don't like it with a uh, game like that. I like it to be how it was in Final Fantasy 7 and 8 where it's this turn based I see my bar go up. I know people hate this style of games I love it mm-hmm. especially in RPGs because it's slow it's way more strategical than just the like I hate hack and slash games where you just jump around you do the move and there's, you're always overwhelmed like there, you know what I'm saying there's always got to be so many more and it turn, it takes it away from being a chess game mm-hmm. like Final Fantasy 7 8 9 10 them games are they're chess matches, bro. You'll be in a match for an hour. I love that stuff, bro. But where you're just like, all right, do this. Then man knows, oh, I've got to use the magic, and you got to go through five yeah. uh, screens to get to that to that certain magic power, bro. I love that stuff. All of this, it turns into not button, button mashing, but it turns into it's a button mashing. <laughs> it, well, it turns into button mashing, and how fast can I do this as opposed to thinking, thinking, thinking the game, innit? That's that's what I that's what I think, isn't it? That's why I, that's why I fell off and why I got more into Final Fantasy. But then they start taking Final Fantasy to these mad directions. I fell off that as well. Now Final Fantasy's got the same yeah, fighting as Kingdom Hearts, so I'm done with both. 
Uh, the only thing that's got a chance to bring me back is this Final Fantasy VII remake. Uh, I mean, I'm just asking because obviously, as someone who brought me the game, and from day one, I was so hooked. No, I hear that. Part. I was like, I can, I can, I can introduce me to something. Put, put something in, in my pathway wow, for I'm the rest of my life until my adulthood, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you're just like, oh, yeah. it's like, it's like you're dismissing it. It's like, here, take this. Uh, uh, bro, I'm happy to be a gateway for your happiness, family. Yeah, I'll take that, bro. I'll take that. <laughs> some, some, like a 1%. Yeah. But yeah, that's a game I'm looking forward to. You're still thinking man's game, though. Like, it's quite inseparable, ain't no joke, you know? Fam, oh my god. I hear what you're saying, fam. Roll right, it's roll so left. Big. Imagine it's so do that big, in Batman, fam. fam. It's so you know what I'm saying? I don't want to do that in Kingdom Hearts. I don't even want to think about that, fam. Fam, the last He's coming. One, oh my god. It's, 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 it's number three. He's when man played him, oh my god. See, now you're making it. Now, come on, don't do that, fam. Fam, so, well, okay. Can you remember fighting Sephiroth in, in uh, Both Final one VII? and two. Oh, Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. You were like, you're waiting for your bar to go up, and whoever goes there the first is going to get hurt. So you're telling me, yeah? The new one is, is peaking in that fam. Because fighting Sephiroth in, in number seven fam. Yeah. Man was man didn't want him to show up like. You know when you <laughs> like in games you're like, oh yeah, I want to level up to fight the fight to get to the final boss. Man just didn't want to get to the end. Because you know Sephiroth's there is gonna just F up everything, yeah, fam. Just the sound, his music. Oh, that was what it for me. Yeah. That was it for me. Oh, oh the sound, uh, 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 that's man didn't want to play this guy, fam. Mm-hmm. Uh, you played Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1, though. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Fam, Final Fantasy VII is Pete. I just thought like Final Fantasy VII. That's no, really based on oh, really the one HP fun. and disappear. Bro. Next thing you see was a swipe. That's it. You're done. Fam, I, I remember it. Really. Like I said, bad, I bad. like the different style of mm, games. Bad. I like that stuff in superhero games and whatever. But RPGs, I want it nice and slow. Take time, build up those 400 hours anyway. But guys, we want to know what you like to play jump in the comment section below. Let us know everything about your E3. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What game did you like? If you've got more questions, leave them down below as well. I'm Joe One Further the And I'm Raven GS. I'm Sam Mr. Blipster. If you guys want an opportunity to tell us what to do, all you've got to do is go over to patreon.com forward slash the cybernerds. Sign up to one of our tiers. We've got lots of rewards, guys, and you can be content creators for us. We'll see you on the next mailbag. Peace. <laughs>